Hello, I'm Mr. Rakes. I'm looking forward to meeting yourselves and your daughter either at summer school or in September. Normally we would have an intake evening where I would talk to you as parents about the exciting experience of Green Bank and some of the routines that we have to follow. I hope that you find this presentation useful as I move through it. Well, the story so far has been very, very different. Um, as per normal, we have had meetings with the primary schools to talk about how your daughter would settle in, okay, in friendship groups and anything that might help her help her settle into Green Bank. We have also had the transition email system, which I know so many of you have used and you have received transition emails from ourselves. The form groups have been set and the information that has been sent out as well via a pack, which you will have received last week. In that pack, there's lots of useful information, but mainly uh, a new intake booklet which goes through everything that I talk about and probably in a lot more detail. Um, we've got this new intake evening presentation. A year six summer school, which we have a record over 140 pupils attending, which runs from the 27th of July to the 7th of August, over two weeks. And we also have our transition website page, which I've got a, um, a print of next to this on the presentation. And you will also be sent a curriculum booklet, which will be brought in on the 2nd of September by your daughter. Firstly, on Wednesday, the 2nd of September, we've now decided that Year 7 will be the only year group in school that day to help them settle in. They'll arrive at 8.30am, they will have some time with their form tutor, but then they will also have three lessons on that day. They will arrive in full school uniform, which I will talk about in a little while. They will probably have their full equipment and their massive bags fully packed. They'll have their form time, they'll have a student planner, which helps them organise themselves at Green Bank. They'll have an early lunchtime and they will finish at 3 p.m. on that first week. And what is most crucial is that they have an early bedtime as it can be quite an emotional experience starting secondary school and they will be very tired despite them not thinking that they often are. There's many, many important people in your daughter's school life. I know you've had a lot of email contact from um, Head of Year 7, Mrs Collins. Herself and the tutors will be recording some messages um, for you, for yourselves and for your daughters um, as, the, as the form tutors. Okay, as you can see, this year we've um, named the form slightly differently if you've ever had children with us. They are named after our houses. And this is to encourage a sense of community together as a house where they will do charity activities and fun activities throughout the year and gain house points. You've also got your senior leadership team who you will see out and about endlessly during breaks, lunchtime, Mrs. Robinson, Ms. Cullen, Ms. Jen Jones, Mr. Pritchard, Mrs. Whitaker. And some of you will have met Arsenko because I know um, some of you have been in with your daughters to have a little look around school recently and make it an easier experience. You'll have the head of music, okay, who will be important as well. We sent a letter within the pack, okay, regarding music tuition and the, the contact for young carers is Mrs. Corns, which was also in the pack that was sent out to you. When your daughter first comes in, this is often done on the first day, we take a picture of them as a form. And as I said earlier, they represent the houses and we'll have a unique sense of community moving forward. Central to our behaviour for learning policy, which is a very positive experience at Green Bank, we have something called the Green Bank Way, <clears throat> which means that every pupil is expected to be respectful at all times, be organised at all times, and show an uh, impeccable attitude to learn at all times, because that protects um, the Article 29, which as a rights respect in school, is that everyone has a chance to develop their talents and abilities within a school environment. And this is really, really central to our behaviour for learning policy. We also expect pupils to have a can-do attitude, okay, and a resilience to whatever they do. And we expect pupils to have a smile on their face, to be happy in their school environment, okay, and take on any challenges and opportunities that may come their way. I've had the privilege of interviewing year 10s for the pupil leadership team and for heads and deputy head girls. And it's really been heartwarming to see what experiences they've had through their time at Green Bank. We're hoping that they also will be supporting your daughter at summer school. We have a very active um, student support team. Okay, and we've got Mrs. Stanfield in the picture here, but our mentors, okay, help with any small problems that the, that the children might have. Also, we have the Angels, which is a peer mental system. So year 10s who are trained as a, a new girls, easy listening service to support the year seven forms, and they will be attached to those forms to help them settle in. Uniform, okay, and I've put uniform for a professional learning environment because it really is, it says a lot 
about your daughter and the fact that we're at a high achieving school that has really, really high standards. Okay, you can see Daisy on the left of the screen there, okay, in front of Green Bank High School and Heather in the PE uniform. They've both been in school over the last few months. Okay, and you can see Dave, Daisy's looking very, very smart there in her Green Bank blazer, a striped blouse, okay, her green knee length skirt, grey socks and a nice shiny black shoes, okay, which she looks very, very smart there. And then you've got Heather looking equally smart in the P uniform, okay, which the white socks often have, um, if you get them from Whitakers or Zips and Snips, they'll have green bank running down the back of them. Okay, we also encourage the purchase of the hoodie as well. You can also buy um, tracksuit trousers as well. But please visit our uniform suppliers, Whitakers and Zips and Snips, um, where you can go on and try, try the uniform, okay, and they, they know all your requirements and what the girls tend to get. Okay, it's not compulsory to buy a jumper, I must say that, a jumper or a cardigan, although many girls do for uh, the winter months. Equipment for learning is very, very important to be um, well equipped, so no time is wasted and that your daughter will be a successful learner. Okay, as I said earlier, the student planner will be available from the 2nd of September. Okay, we expect to see a pencil case, often it's a very big pencil case uh, in year seven, two blue or black black or blue pens, just in case one runs out. A green pen for improvement time as well. So if you give them feedback uh, on a piece of work that you can improve it and make sure that you learn from any mistakes. It's fine to make mistakes. It's fine to misunderstand. It's how you put it right is the most important thing. Okay, a pencil, ruler, razor, sharpener, calculator and geometry set. Okay, just get a simple geometry set. Um, an ear, a set of ear and headphones for computing. Nothing too flashy, just something very simple that you can buy those from reception and an apron for design technology okay because we won't be able to share the aprons uh, like we normally do so please make sure that uh, your daughter brings in an apron for design technology attendance is going to be crucial especially as your daughters you know we've missed quite a lot of time within school and it's important really to get those great habits back again um, we suggest it's very very important often children are ill or can, can be ill, okay, we have so many children that have 100% attendance, okay, and they often do very, very well in school. But it, it, there is research that says being at least 98% of the time, okay, is, is crucial to your learning and anything less runs the risk of underachievement, okay, and then severe risk of underachievement, obviously, as it goes further down. So please, please make sure at all times that your daughter is pushed to get into school, okay, and learn, and to be honest, that they love it within school, okay, and, and we'll be dying to come to school, okay, and are proud of coming to school, but it's a really, really important that we maintain that, that really, really high attendance moving forward for their achievement. Okay, rewards are a crucial part of our positive school environment and really support that can-do attitude, okay? Girls are very, very proud of their bla blazer badges, okay, and you can achieve bronze, silver, gold, or green through achieving um, house reward and house achievement points. Okay, often other forms of reward are we do what's called PIPs, which is individual progress sheets, people individual progress sheets, okay, which once you get a certain number of um, fours, you, you, you will get a letter from myself, and often children end up collecting those as they move through Green Bank. We also do postcards that are sent home. We've had e-postcards recently. There's a picture of some girls at the head teacher's breakfast, which we do um, every six weeks where pupils are individually chosen by their form tutors, okay, or their heads a year, and also you can see attendance achievement board there, but there's so many, but the main form of rewarding is via the achievement points and the blazer badges if your daughter just does everything right okay on a weekly basis she achieves five achievement points if she attends all the extracurricular opportunities she gets more and more uh, achievement points so the more you get involved with the school the more you do everything right and calmly right as well i'm aware that there's some shy girls who don't go out and do some of the extra things but if you just do everything right on a daily bit daily basis you will receive um, the five reward points which really really adds up and we're sending some out at the moment as i just said the important thing is for your daughter is to get involved and meet new girls we have a whole variety of extracurricular opportunity that we are hoping to run i must say from september okay in in their year group okay that really helps them all gel together uh, as a year group here you've got i remember taking this um, last october was netball 
Okay, you can see how many of them there were. And also our Let's Get Cooking Club there, where we have a, a group of, uh, at the most, 20 girls, okay, who go through a six-week program, um, which has been really, really successful over the years. Okay, but there's a whole host of extracurricular activities, and there, there they are, okay? You can join at least one club, okay, and try and make sure... Um, that your daughter does join at least one club because it gives her an opportunity to meet as many new pupils as possible and make new friends. Educational visits, we're hoping um, that by the summer we, we will have um, our educational visits back on. And this was year seven in Boulogne, okay, last year. Um, a great activity where I think over 100 children went went to Boulogne. Okay, over we did it on two two visits. Okay, it's an absolutely fantastic experience, but lovely to see them all gel together, uh, especially at the end of the year. Okay, but we've run that for many many years. Music tuition uh, is really really important to us. Okay, music. We believe music and performing arts and creative arts are the heart of all great schools. Okay, music in year seven. Um, though every single pupil um, learns a musical instrument and that will be the case so they'll have their own individual uh, music in instrument it's called band project okay we were quite innovative with this okay and the power that music brings in practice determination resilience is really really important to us it really helps your daughter develop those skills but also okay it's a wonderful sound by the end of the year them really playing together as an orchestra as a, as a year seven group group of pupils also um we do music tuition okay um over the year okay it's 180 pounds for the year which is tremendous value with our wonderful uh peripatetics and also we have plenty of chance to perform performance is very very important probably most of year seven take part in some kind of performance whether it's through dance Okay, through music, okay, or for mini drama productions, okay, but it's incredibly important. Develops their confidence, and often they're all too keen to get get involved and want to get on the stage. Okay, and make us extremely proud as teachers and parents. But please try and encourage that performance because I really think it's important to a child's development to get involved as much as possible. And we do have access to the latest learning technology, which has been wonderful, obviously during this period. Uh, where we've had a blended approach to remote learning. We've had some uh, video lessons, interactive lessons, explanations, but we do have a virtual learning environment where most of the curriculum uh, is now online for you to see, which is a great benefit. You can see what your daughter's learning, okay, but also if they were unsure of something, they can go over something in the evening, okay, but we do have access to, a fun, we're very lucky, okay, the latest learning technology and a VLE, a virtual learning environment that's called Firefly. You you will also have the chance to download the parent Firefly VLE app as well. Please, please try and join the PTA because it's a wonderful way, yes, of helping us raise funds for your daughter and, and for things like the Blazer Badges, okay, and we've got benches there for our special educational needs area and Duke of Edinburgh equipment, okay, but it means you get to meet us, okay, as, as teachers on a more informal basis uh, as, as well. Um, hopefully you've seen on our transition website, and I know it was emailed out to you, the link. Our PTA have done a short video, okay, from when I met with you. They were brilliant. They did it in one cut, okay, a one take, and I had the chance to say something at the end. But really, I'm indebted to them, and I think they, they really enjoy working together as parents. They've also offered via the PTA at greenbankhigh.co.uk um, email to offer any support to new parents. If you want advice from some fantastic parents, okay, some, some of them have offered and being all the way through school to year 11 please please get in touch okay and take that advice so as we move to the end of this okay it's important to realize okay it's a partnership okay it really really is i think sometimes we think when our children go to secondary school it's not quite the same partnership as it as it was um in primary school but you probably your daughter needs to work you to work with us more than ever so get involved in things like the PTA, but please, please support her in whatever she does, whether it's performance, okay, or anything, helping with homework, just talking through the school day uh, about the friendships, 
okay, I'm a classwork and homework, but really talk. I, th- I think if I was to give it one advice to a parent is, yeah, take that time when they come home in the evening to talk to them about the school day and what's happening, because it really can sort of halve a small problem that might take place and you'll have lots of wonderful advice to give them. And also they might say something that you might think, oh, I'll ring the form tutor about that. Okay, I'll ring the head of year about that. Okay, and it can really, really help. Obviously, I mentioned before, high attendance leads to high achievement. Also, it's so socially good. I think some children um, who suffer with attendance okay will also become isolated so high attendance leads to high engagement with friends okay and your social group and is really really important uh look at the student planner together lots of information in there but sign it weekly it's a great form of communication between yourselves and the tutor and really shows that you're looking at the homework and looking at um what what your daughter's doing during the school day uh encourage her and enable her which can also mean sometimes a little bit of a taxi service to participate in extracurricular activities, especially when the nights uh, draw in as well. So please try and support her to participate in those extracurricular opportunities. As I said, when I interviewed for head girls, et cetera, they had got involved in so many activities, okay, and were able to say how it had contributed to their development and where they'd got to. Register with Parent Mail. I know so many of you have. Parent Pay, I know so many of you have through the summer school. And make sure you check the website website especially that year six transition area at the moment um, which is under the parents tab okay attend events okay i've put um, the parents evening dates at the end of this presentation uh, and in the front of the intake booklet okay but also tour you'll be invited to the tour of the school in october as well uh, which includes a meeting with your daughter's form tutor in person as well, hopefully at that stage, okay? And join the PTA or become a school governor. We will have a number of school governor vacancies, okay, where you can have a hand in working with us on the strategic development of the school. I know it demands a lot of commitment, but it is immensely rewarding as well. Some key dates then in the life of a year seven parent, I think there's two to really focus on. 12th of October, which is the tour of the school and meet the form tutor and you have some curriculum information. And then the 11th of February 2021 um, would be a year seven parents evening. And it's purposely put halfway through the school year just to see how they've settled in, okay, and how, how they're performing as well, both academically and personally um, through school. Your new admissions welcome pack, which you received last week, okay, received many things in it, um, had many things in it, such as the school buses timetable, which we get asked a lot, said the new intake booklet, the homeschool agreement. Please, please, and I know so many of you have already, which is fantastic, okay, pop them back in the envelope that's in the pack. Put, put them into either reception or into the post box, okay, so that we can build up uh, this information on your child and really help her settle in as well over that period. And then this was what will hopefully happen by June 2025. Okay, your daughter will have completed their Green Bank journey. Okay, they, they will be attending the prom. Okay, this, this last prom was at, at Formby Hall and we're hoping to have one um, late in October for our current year 11. But it's amazing how the girls develop. Okay, they often attend just as groups together. Okay, because they've loved the journey so much and their friends and it's a real chance to celebrate. But it does come around so quickly. So, you know, just, just hope that they can take all their opportunities and that you, can, you and us can provide them the support as they develop into young women. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Uh, I really, really look forward to seeing you in September and hopefully doing summer school as well. Take care, everyone.